Hey there, Virgo. What's up? Why do I always say it like that? Virgo. <laughs> What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This message is for Virgo, cross watchers, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what don't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread with the Everyday Witch Tarot. So let's get into it. Ooh, Virgo. Ah, beautiful. Current energy, Ace of Pentacles. You have a seed. I know you're going to pick a great spot to plant it. Remember to water it if the rain, if the clouds don't. Get it in some sunlight. Yep. There it is. The water, the sun, right in the perfect spot to get both. Interesting. Could have something to do with sand or live by a beach. The world card. There is a major door that you're closing here. Oh, I'm hearing a cycle has ended for you. Uh, two year, three year. Okay. Less than 10 year cycle is closing out. And you are planting a whole new seed. I feel like you're already in the new energy. I don't think you're currently closing it out. I think that the world is the incoming is saying um, like you're feeling the finale, right? You know how at first, like, is this really happening? Is like there's shock and then there's, oh my gosh, that just happened. And then there's, yeah, I did it, right? And that's when it really hits you. That's what this feels like to me. Because uh, your current energy is brand new energy, like you're in it. But I feel like there's this, oh my gosh, this is really happening. So I feel like you're in the process of the new. The closing of doors has already taken place. Yeah, you really should celebrate this. I'm, I'm getting for somebody, it's like an amount of subs, subscribers, followers, something like that. For others of you though, it's like, you paid something off and now it's yours and you don't owe money on it anymore. Or um, what was another one that I was picking up on? Um, retirement, bank account, getting to a certain point that you wanted it to be at. You're like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better now that I have this put away. It's like, um, you know, a large appliance falls apart. Um, relationship doesn't work out and you need to find somewhere to go type of situation you just wanted to have some money tucked up to feel good you have it you have look i can't make it up like you've got it that's in your foundation that basically just clarifies everything i just said you're about to get your cake if you haven't got it already virgo here's your cake go ahead and have a slice happy birthday to you oh it is actually virgo season limit. look at that all right recent past is temperance and ten of pentacles maintaining the peace especially when it has to do with your legacy there are people places and contracts that you're currently you currently have access to that are a part of your legacy a part of your ten of pentacles a part of your ride or die This is my happy face. I did not just hear that. With wings. Oh, speaking of wings, uh, temperance. That's angelic healing. That's divine healing right there. Yeah, everything is more balanced than it has been in a minute. I, I do. I think there's a like a two or three year cycle that you've wrapped up here spiritually and you're really going to feel it physically. Crowning you is the seven of wands and the king of wands. You are fiercely defending your plans and you should. I also feel like you are your own coach and cheerleader. Nobody is hyping you up more than yourself right now. And I fucking love this because who better to have as a best mate than yourself? And then the people that come in and do that, you know they're legit because you've been doing it until they come in. I feel like they're already here for you, right? So now you just have more and more confirmation, more reason to be confident, more reason to, I love this. 
oh, if only everybody could get this. But you are very fiercely defending your right to... Um, Sorry, somebody just sent me a weird text message. Um, yeah, your plans and moving forward and, and taking action. And I'm getting there shall be no slacking. <laughs> there shall be no slacking here. Near future, yep, there's the work. There it is. Spiritual, physical, there's the work. Six of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You're working with your gifts, your abilities, and there, there is absolutely fruit for that labor. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the fruits come in many shapes and sizes, many colors, many flavors. Yeah. Blockage was the empress allowing yourself to take up the space that you deserve. Allowing yourself to blossom like a lotus flower. Lotus flower is going to be very important. I don't know if you have a lotus flower tattoo, if you've been drawn to lotus flowers, or um, if you're just going to be seeing them and that's a confirmation. But there is definitely something about lotus flower here being significant for you, Virgo. This is the divine feminine. This is the ability to be your soft, gentle self because you have a safe enough space to be that soft, gentle self. For some of you, that's exactly what it is that's coming in. That's what this seed progresses to, the seed that you're planting now, this new beginning that you got going for you now. This is going to be like the next step of that phase, the next part of that phase is tapping into that divine feminine because you've now created a safe enough space to do that. Love this. Oh, I can't get enough. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. How's the universe viewing Virgo? Please and thank you, God. Judgment and four of wands. Needing to celebrate. You listen to the call. Your ancestors couldn't be any more proud of you than they are right now. I hope you realize the blessings coming in. Some of them are specifically from them waiting. Some of them have been waiting hundreds, thousands of years for you to come here and do what you're doing. Some of them had the opportunity to do it and they didn't have the strength and courage to. But they see you out here doing it. You don't have to believe the amount of support that you have, but I am telling you, you got support. Lots of Libra energy here. I wonder if somebody's a cusper. Or maybe it's because Libra energy, uh, Libra season is, is creeping up real quick, isn't it? Oh, I got to get my mom a birthday gift. Chariot. You're along for the ride. This way, that way, doesn't really matter. You can't go wrong either way because you have the divine with you. This is the divine's chariot. Think of it as God's taxi to take you wherever it is that you need to be so that you're meeting the people that you need. You got places to go, people to meet, and this, this is the only way you're going to get there. This is the goal, and you're already on that path. I feel like this is not only the goal, but confirmation that you are exactly where you need to be. You're doing exactly what you need to be doing. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Please keep doing it, right? Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Trust your plans. And trust your defense. Um, potential outcome, please and thank you, spirit. Uh, cancer energy with the chariot there. Libra, Libra, Taurus, Venus, divine feminine. The world is all the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. You also have Taurus, Leo, and Sagittarius. That's a lot. But you had a lot of major arcana. Outcome for Virgo, please and thank you, Spirit. Also, I'm super sorry about your last reading. Um, I know I kept saying 
Virgo at the beginning, but then towards the end, it like just kind of transmuted itself into a Leo reading. I'm sorry. It was Virgo. Knight of Swords. I don't think it messed with you at all. I think you completely understood what was going on. Half of you went over to Leo to see why. And you got more messages in the Leo reading. And I don't think you normally do that. I don't think you usually go to Leo for more messages. So that's actually pretty cool. Anyways, Knight of Swords. This is the fastest moving night. It's like you have a clear shot. And you're taking this shot with all your might, with all your heart. Like, it's very calculated, which I love because Virgo, the analyzers, right? I analyze. This is this right up your alley. This is perfect for you. Get ready because things are about to move very, very quickly in a gorgeous way. One that you've been waiting for, yet it's even better. All right. I'm going to leave it right here. That was Aquarius. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.